Hi everyone, I'm Emily and I am going to show you on our online catalog uh, some of the advanced search features. Um, so I've already gone to our website and selected the catalog um, and if you look in the top right corner I logged in as well which is helpful uh, in the search process but it's not necessary. Um, so you'll see the search bar here that you're probably familiar with and beneath that you'll see advanced search. So if you click on that It'll give you a lot of different options. Um, so say I'm interested in newer DVDs, maybe just ones that came out last year in 2020. So what I'll do is right now we're on item type. So I'll look down and I see this image for DVD. So I'll click the box next to it. And then for date range, you can type in a range or you can just type in a year. So I'm just gonna do 2020. And then at the bottom, you can select search. And I know that it is searching because the icon on the top is swirling. Um, so I'll just wait for it to look for DVDs from 2020. All right. So it looks like it came up with 70 results, so that's pretty good. Um, so I can just look through these. You can see the title, Pain and Glory, Zombie Land, Double Tap. Um, so I can just kind of look through them. And there's one that looks interesting, like Harriet. If you just click on the DVD there, you can learn some more about it. There's usually a little summary. Um, and then I can see here, it says Essex Free Library and the status, the DVD looks available. So if I wanted, I could select place a hold on the right side um, to place a hold on it to pick, get it for curbside pickup. So that's how one aspect of um, advanced search works. So I'll show you another one. So we did the DVDs. Now let's try, um, say I'm interested in audiobooks. So I'm still under item type. And I can select audiobook, but I don't really care what year it is, but I am interested in mysteries. So you can on the left side there where it says keyword, you can select, I'm going to select subject and just type in mystery. So I'm looking for audiobooks that are the genre is mystery. And then I go back down to the bottom and select search and wait for it to look for some mystery audiobooks. All right, so not surprising, there's a lot of mystery audiobooks, 284 results I see at the top here. Um, so I can just scroll through them, maybe some I've already heard. Um, we can just look through. So if there's any you're interested in, you can just click on one. This one's Phantom Prey by John Sanford. Um, and I see that the library here has it um, and that it's available. So I could do the same process, place a hold on it if I wanted, or maybe I read the summary and I realized I already listened to that one. You can go back and you can just look through them. Um, there'll be multiple pages. So if you go to the bottom, you can hit next page and scroll through um, the different mystery audiobooks at the library. And then I just want to show you one other way to search. So I'm going back to the search um, feature. And then I'm unclicking audiobook. So this is some ways to look, but I can also select shelving location and say I'm interested in um, adult biographies, which we do have a section here at the library of just biographies. Um, and I don't really care, maybe I just am interested in the last five years. So as you see in the date range, I put in 2015 to 2020. Um, and I'm not worried about specific subjects beyond that. I'm just interested in the biographies. So then I hit search at the bottom.
Some searches take longer than others. All right. So quite a few results, 189. Um, and this includes books at other libraries as well. So sometimes books come up that we don't have that you can use your card at other libraries to get. Um, and you'll see uh, the publishing dates it says 2015 there. So it starts in order in 2015 and works its way forward. Um, and these are just different biographies uh, um, that the library has. You can scroll through them and see any that you're um, interested in. So that is three different ways to use the advanced search feature. Um, there's a lot of other ways, as you can see, um, there's a lot of selections um, and different ways to search, not just by subject, um, but by author and title and all kinds of things. So that's just a few, few ways to show you how to use the advanced search. Thanks for listening.